Whoever sows to please the Spirit by the Spirit will reap eternal life. Feed your spirit today by this life transforming message. What does it mean to be a wife? What does it mean to be a wife? Many ladies do not know what it means to be a wife. They think they know. A wife, just like the husband, defines the entire scope of your ministry to your husband. Not your husband and your father. Not your husband and his family. Under the dimension of a wife, your ministry is only to your husband. Let me use this opportunity and challenge many ladies who can keep their men at second place. You love your father, your mother, your brother, your uncle so much. Everything you do to your husband, you do to everyone else. You are not a wife. You are not a wife. That dimension of being a wife is a dimension that creates an office for the man to feel like the man in your life. That is the dimension where you bring the king out of that man. That is the dimension where you let the man know that you are not like all other men. You are exclusive and I demonstrate it in every way possible. By meeting your emotional need, by looking physically attractive for you. Oh yes. Hello. By now, I know you are aware that physical attraction means a lot to men. If you are not aware, you are hearing it now. Are you getting me? Don't think because you get married. I'm not talking of nudity. Don't get me wrong. Are you getting the point? I'm not talking of nudity and seduction. No. No. But I've seen so many men depressed over their wife. They just get married five years. 10 years and the woman is looking as if she's 100 years old she does not care she has thrown away her wifehood because she thinks she's giving birth to plenty of children and the man is frustrated he looks at another lady who is 10 times older than her and she's looking like an angel and his own wife is looking like whatever it is there please don't play games with men let me tell you any man i don't care whether anointing oil is on top of his head jesus is written on top of his head there is a dimension a lady was wired by god to make a man feel like a man if you don't do it it's because of negligence not because you have not been equipped and that has nothing to do with seduction from your physical outlook let the man be proud of you not a lady that you just got married and the man says come and escort me somewhere you just dress as if you are going for a night vigil and he's looking smart looking like a young man you are there embarrassing him and he said honey you can just sit at the car honestly i'll be brief i'll just come and say no no i must come i want to see what you are hiding if nobody has told you i'm telling you now in the name of the lord it matters it matters ladies it matters and it starts from relationship are you a wife when was the last time you made the guy god sent to you feel like a king let me tell you in every brother there is a king it takes a wife to bring that king out are you getting me when you find yourself shouting at a guy and taking advantage of his niceness there are some brothers that are very cool-headed even if you slap them they won't do anything and you deceive yourself to think that because they are cool-headed they are foolish there is a lion in every brother there is a lamb in every brother keep the lion in the cage don't let it come out you won't like it you must make every guy feel like a king Vashti stop being a wife as a result she left the palace first she, she stopped being a wife when the king wanted to feel like a king she was not available and he sent her out and here came esther hadassah hadassah always made the king feel like a king she prepared a feast for him and he said what's the occasion for the feast she said nothing just heralding your royalty and the king said my goodness please do it again and then by himself he said what do you want to half of my kingdom a man will give you anything if you bring the king in him don't make requests until he becomes a king how many ladies have strangled the king dimension in their men you just come and say um do you know that that other brother bought me a laptop can you serve how many months six months you have been trying to buy a laptop one brother just came out just from church oh no strings attached you are killing the king 
when there is no king in your kingdom enemies will come keep the king alive ladies keep the king alive there are some things ladies have been doing that a guy is tolerating it does not mean that's how he was designed to live you shout at a guy anyhow and speak to him anyhow he's supposed to see you by seven he comes by eight you don't give him room to explain himself let me tell you this and you are acting nigerian film there there is a king in every guy don't take the generosity of any man for granted i'm sorry to say this many married women have taken their husbands for granted they do not exalt that king dimension when you got married to him you used to bring food in a tray and be very respectful now you just carry a bottle of juice as if you are selling it just drop it on the table and say um, there's rice in the kitchen and he will get up you see that's the thing with many men they will get up quietly and go and serve themselves but you are endangering your marriage you are endangering your relationship many ladies are embarrassed to be wives because it takes submission to be a wife if you are still driven by ego and i don't want to look cheap you will never be a wife to be a wife you must soil your hand and create a king out of that man but if you can be stupid enough to make that man a king he will be a fool for you that's his reward ladies say after me in the name of jesus shout it in the name of jesus i receive grace to be a wife indeed sisters hear me don't learn those jargons that you watch on tv there is a difference between secular relationships and marriages and kingdom relationships please don't let anybody confuse you a virtuous woman who can find the bible says her husband will praise her at the gates she will do him good all the days of her life can you honestly say from the day you started going out with that guy you have brought joy ask yourself have you brought joy don't lie from the time you started going out with the guy have you brought joy to his life or heartbreak his finances went down his reputation went down his spiritual life went down his ego went down his sense of purpose went down you are not a wife he that finds a wife you must be a wife to be found it's not marriage that makes you a wife when a man comes to you, it's a sign that you have become a wife. He that finds a wife, not a woman. There are many women, there are few wives. He that finds a wife. Number two, mother. Watch this, mother. In one word, a mother is the maker of the home. The key word under motherhood is sacrifice. There are many ladies who have paid the price to be wives. They can give any guy the kind of love he wants. They can cook for the guy. They can do everything but they are not mothers. Ladies, I challenge you to have an elderly woman in your life who will not feel embarrassed to teach you motherhood. Ladies, I challenge you in the name of the Lord. Do not allow westernization suck out the dimension of motherhood in you. Motherhood. A man can build a house but it takes a woman to make a home a man cannot make a home a man can build a house and put chairs in it a home talks of the emotional climate creating the conducive atmosphere for love the conducive atmosphere for unity the conducive atmosphere for progress and peace is the responsibility of a woman I challenge the school of ministry and I said, when I come to anybody's house, there are three things, ladies, I will look at in your house to prove to me whether you are a mother indeed. Number one, your kitchen. Your kitchen is a reflection of your motherhood ability. Kitchen. That's where the meals are made. Right? That's where the health of the people is preserved. There are many people, their kitchen is a mess. There are many young ladies you dress well you wear new clothes but your kitchen is a mess five day old plates one week old plates roaming around in the kitchen here the sink is dirty you look at the cookers palm oil everything on it you see bread that has fungi to carry it and throw it you lift it, you leave it there the trash can is filled with dirt you are not a mother you may be a good wife but not a good mother
the bible says she wakes up in the morning talking about her motherhood dimension while it is yet early and prepares something for the children proverbs 31 and she comes to cover them to make sure they are warm in winter that's a mother a homemaker sisters are you mothers are you mothers indeed that's a question god is helping us to understand tonight many ladies are not mothers but you can be mothers if you make that decision tonight so your kitchen number two your toilet the toilet in many homes is a disaster a disaster plus plus disaster one universal towel used by everybody including visitors one universal sponge right a sponge that looks like a rag torn into pieces and the woman cannot buy another one listen let me tell you ladies there are some responsibilities that are not for men don't let anyone fool you if you see a man doing it he's doing it out of love he won't do it forever you can't expect a man to go to the market and go and buy new buckets and bring it back home and say i notice buckets are empty please don't insult the man there is a king in every man i'm not saying men cannot do it but what is your own rule a child is running out of the house mucus everywhere torn trouser you see you see children running out of homes no clothes and he runs and hugs somebody outside and the man is feeling embarrassed and the wife is just looking won't you come in to come in and see the other things toilets you look at the toilet and people it is not flushed it's not clean there is no water people bath and they leave the remaining water there the second person comes to add his water on it and now bath all kinds of things happen come on let's tell ourselves the truth many homes have dirty toilets ladies make sure you are not praying for an award-winning man to keep him in that kind of atmosphere shout no way i hope so i really hope so how many ladies are not proactive they get up and go to the market only to shop clothes and hair and you cannot buy soap the man is rushing because he has to catch up with an appointment ah soap is finished and the wife said sorry honey and he now checks ah the towel this there's no water Merua has not come all kinds of domestic things you want the man to do everything no that's the dimension of your mother a man returns back from work tired and hungry and that's when the woman lazily drags herself trying to break pieces of eggs and, and open up indomie to make dinner and yet when they ask you who do you want to marry they say hey, you know what i want to marry no are you preparing god is not a wicked man to carry his son that has been sweating in the vineyard and come and keep you and then you strangle him to death there are many men that are heartbroken as a result of the way their wives trivialize them please ladies listen god is speaking to us don't you ever if you if a man has not talked to you about it i promise you it's just because he's tolerating you it's not because he's enjoying it there are men who can just take up with anything but don't 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 push men to the wall it's god helping us and then number three your living room your parlor you enter the parlor and everything is scattered water pours on the ground the carpet is dirty pieces of paper around children roaming around everything is unkept the moment you own the fan you see dust all over the parlor and many mothers don't train their children how many ladies get up in the morning and know that part of their assignment is to make sure that their rooms are clean it starts with your own room now don't wait till you are in a bungalow you want to stay in a duplex of eight rooms are you ready to sweep it don't just say oh god i'm tired of poverty are you ready to sweep it i want a room with this i want an extra room with an aquarium every honor comes with responsibility is God speaking to us tonight? If you listen to what I'm saying, I promise you, 10 years, 20 years from now, you will thank me for what I'm sharing with you. Your living room. The key word 
under motherhood is sacrifice sisters look at me very carefully if you are unwilling to let go things right now you are not a mother i'm telling you this you are not a mother there are ladies who cannot give up their food they cannot share anything there are ladies who even if you have one million naira and a guy stands here with one thousand naira you want him to buy something of 900 naira for you and keep 100 naira Abba, what sort of person are you once there is no heart of sacrifice you are not a mother because a good mother will inconvenience herself a good mother will protect the image of the father and the husband have you seen many of our mothers do a lot of things and give the honor and the credit to the husband the man has no idea visitors are coming to the house and they come and they see all kinds of meals different types and the friends of the man turn and say ah ah promise promise your house is heaven or netto and you see him laughing he did not contribute anything to that table but he's happy and the woman because she's a good woman she's happy they will ask her they say madam you are really enjoying no that means your husband is taking care of you and she'll say bless god not that she'll call the person aside and say see this is my initiative i did it because i fear god if i'm to wait for this idiot nothing will happen in this house How many of you right now can do good and give the credit to the man God has given you and not be ashamed? Ladies, how many of you can do that? That you are the one that dressed him well and when he comes out and people are saying, Kai, you have an excellent dress sense, you keep quiet. You know that you look and say, excellent care. Dress sense. I was almost passing the night at a tailor's place to make sure they finish the clothes. Now you are giving the credit to him. A mother does not want any glory for herself. Her pride is that her husband and children are lifted, even at her expense. That's why you see a woman can carry her food. When a visitor comes and the husband says, is there anything to eat? She says, ah, yes, yes. Whereas that food she's saying yes to is her meal. And she will run to the kitchen, turn it in another plate, warm it quickly and come. And the children are saying, mommy, boy, you have not eaten. Don't worry. She's protecting the image of the family. You must receive grace to be a mother number three every woman is a priest too every woman listen and this applies most especially to single moms and women who maybe their husbands are bereaved and so on and so forth that there is no man in your life whether technically or directly if there is no man in your life you must still perform that role of priesthood I read a book some years ago the power of a praying wife and that book changed my life every woman must be on her knees this is your altar in the home every woman must create an altar especially if you are marrying a man of God don't wait until scandals kill him and eat up his ministry where will you be at the point where Jezebel is killing him and destroying his image there is a way you can know that your husband is getting busy He's getting busy and spiritually he's not intact you can discern that he's going down that's the time to go on your knees and intercede for him you see him making foolish decisions he's a leader over millions of people one decision can implicate him there are psychophants there are newspapers waiting to discredit his grace a true priest is a woman who can pray and fast and standing and say Lord I'm praying for my husband I'm praying for my family men no matter how discerning we are most times we don't discern marital evil fast till it destroys us I can hug 30 ladies right now as generous as possible a lady can sit down and know the one that hugged me from the spirit and the one that hugged me from the flesh a guy will not know the guys will say man Kai, you are a very nice person but a lady will look and say Kai now nah way this this one i felt something in me when when that lady hugged that brother my spirit told me that this hug is, is too generous for just a normal godly expression of love that means god has given you that spiritual equipping to save the man from danger how many women sit down and have dreams and you see the life and the business and the ministry of your husband crushing god didn't just show you to keep it 
a man is going on a trip and you started sensing in your spirit maybe accident why don't you discuss and say honey let's pray say oh, let him go and then something happens he returns back on bike and tells you the car is damaged and he said oh i saw it oh i saw it what did you do about it remember the wife of herod let me prove this to you remember the wife of herod she had a dream and she saw the innocence of jesus she got up and told her husband this man is innocent i know you people want to kill him my spirit tells me he's innocent throw away that thief barabbas let them crucify him leave this innocent man but they didn't listen to her how many men have ignored the priestly roles of their wives to their detriment brothers let me tell you i shared with the school of ministry students there is a prophetic dimension in every woman it's just that that prophetic dimension is fragile you must love her and honor her prophetic office and then you will benefit from it men because we are egotistic people every little thing you turn to a lady and say i beg she's a lady i know that they are emotional there are times that ladies can handle intelligent things emotionally but let me tell you something there are times that in the midst of their emotionalism they can speak forth the counsel of god 